Hey guys, we're in Stop and Shop right now and I wanted to show you something. I just, I found it. This thing gets around. Get a load of this thing. It's a robot. Supposedly it cleans up the place. <laughs> Look at that. Talk about different. Alright, later guys. Hey guys, Tibbs, we're going to go and take a look at Try to give it another shot, see what happens. Like the last time we were here, there on a Saturday, there's a lot of people not here. There's one cool elephant, though. Looks like some cool stuff in there. How can anybody enjoy this music, man? There's 10 different stations playing. See if you were going to be open. Yeah. Well, I'm glad, glad you did because that was the. Uh... Boy, that's a nice beer. You know, it's too bad that uh, the younger generation doesn't appreciate so much the uh, old furniture. You know? Yeah, I just picked up that piece outside there. On the, uh, on the street? Yeah, that's 1875. Uh, that's a nice piece. Yeah, I know. 
It's all beautiful. It's just a shame that. Well, that, that will go. Yeah, something. This will go. It just each inhale and it's a little slower. Right. But that's, but that's quality, and it's, that, and it's small. It's handy for some more This won't go that fast. In fact, I want to dump that. I just bought it. That's going out the door. This desk. And the mirror, it's gorgeous. It's a uh, dandy. But yeah, no, it is beautiful. It's nice. The only thing is, no, but it's a walnut veneer, and the only top, it, it, the thing's got to be just a little stripped on the top. The sides, everything's is fine. Yep, it's a shame. You know, you know it's the millennium. <laughs> Right? What's that? I said it's millennium, the younger people. Yep. They get their own ideas. It's What do you got to get for this, uh, pick this stand over here? The one that this picture's on? Oh, yeah, I need that because yeah. that's the, uh, yeah. I got a lot of really decent stuff in there. Yeah. It's a neat little stand. Yeah. I sold quite a bit off of that, you know? Right. I got a small brass one, but kind of doesn't fit the bill. <laughs> it's not good for paintings. I just hate it when I go to a, a show or somewhere and everybody's got the frame sitting on the tar or the, uh, you know, the ground and it just, and the people pick it up and they slide it and... Yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's crazy. It's it. You just kind of shrug your shoulders and like, what? <laughs> I literally picked up a painting that was a uh, uh, very well-known um, uh, oil painting. Uh, actually, it was a lit. I thought it was a painting. It was a lithograph by Catherine Klein. Yep. Catherine Klein of yep. uh, dead birds hanging. Wow! Wow! Yeah, it's the last time I went at auction, she bought it. Went for four fifty, and she's got it sitting on her driveway and. You could tell she was having a hard time letting things go, but uh, I ended up getting it for 25 bucks, and like an idiot, I sold it for only 200. <laughs> well, they're probably not. It, the, uh, I mean, it depends, you know. Yeah, it was absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That that's where I sold it, yeah. And then somebody they tried talking me down. I'm like, not a, not at not at that price. Yeah, it was a beautiful frame, and it was a beautiful beautiful lithograph. I couldn't read the um, the. Uh, I didn't know it was, they're the ones that told me who it was. I couldn't, I tried researching and finding out who, who it was that um, actually painted it. And, and she's the, um, the woman that bought it is the one that told me. Yeah, but you know what? That's, that's the, uh... Hey guys, it's Tibbs. Purple Newbie Juice here. We had a pretty interesting day, especially when I got home. We got the chimney, a new uh, repair done. Um, we had a real thin, um, where the uh, flute goes in here. It's uh, put a, a proper one in and it's all. And on the inside, on the opposite surface of here on the other side, 
was pipes going through a four inch pipe through a six inch pipe and uh or eight inch pipe or whatever it is and <laughs> you think god it was blocked off by uh a false wall with some bricks because um otherwise things might have not been so good but anyways we went and did a little bit of uh picking today and we made out decent i would say considering we got this lithograph print of uh this uh denim it's a 1970s and i believe it's called the denim and uh i got it for 40 dollars and i really i really love this um this picture it's um just really really cool i think it's silk denim is what it was called um i looked it up online it said it was very rare and um going for around two hundred dollars i really like the the piece so you know i'm probably gonna put it at some ridiculous um number and uh hopefully not sell it but if i do i do um but it really was more or less picked for myself i just love this kind of artwork and uh being from the 70s i thought it was really cool and from the same guy i got this uh little box really ornate box it's uh got some kind of signature on the bottom i haven't been able to figure out exactly what it says but it's just a, a cool little cool little box looks like there's some gold wash in there in the top but uh has like these people dancing and drinking having a good old time um and uh just a neat cool little box and i picked up a bunch of silver plate and inside the silver plate was some actual silver now i looked it up the earlier years they have is on them and i guess it's not a designated um amount of silver content but according to my test kit believe believe all of this is 50 percent close to 50 percent um silver it's probably uh i don't know if it's going to be copper on uh, copper mix or zinc or whatever but uh, it's at least 50 percent um copper due to the uh i mean uh silver due to the uh, test that's that i did now a lot of this is most of this is all silver plate just some triple plate quadruple plate and some of this stuff is from the 1800s <clears throat> and some of it's from the uh the early um 1900s and from the 30s 40s and 50s there's some really really cool cool pieces now there's not not a lot of money to be had um in silver plate they usually sell flatware usually sells for about a buck to two bucks a piece depending on um looks like a monogram piece there holy crow i'll have to look that one over again rs hmm, i didn't notice that before but uh some they go for like two, two hours two bucks to two bucks a piece um for the flatware now this isn't necessarily flatware more this is like flatware um you can see how ornate some of those pieces are and they're really really cool um my intention there's some things that people do they will take a uh let's see if i can find a good example here this is this here is silver with uh, a zinc, a zinc um, mixture. This also is 50% uh, silver, roughly. I'm not saying 100% exact, 50%. But people will take, uh, it's not quite fancy enough. Let's just say this really neat um, floral uh, 
they would they'll cut a certain distance away from it here and then they will actually flatten it out and they will they will roll it up into a ring they'll make it into a ring polish it up smooth it and get it nice and polished and make it into a ring i want to make some really cool um wind chimes with them and i will also want to make coat racks or key racks with them too you can um you can cut them off here you can drill a, a hole in here and apply it to a piece of wood and then curl it up for like a key rack and you can do just the opposite roll it up the other way and have this being bent up as a coat rack or a hat rack or anything but there's I didn't get it to sell it as silver plate um, I did get it to make projects with so I hope you enjoyed this this video I think this painting is really cool I really like it oh and before I forget there's two other things I want to show you well actually this is the biggest one this is it has like a almost like a brake line flange on here and it's a pipe and it goes all the way down through you can actually blow blow into it it's like a straw and it has this little spoon i can't imagine why this would be hollow and have that little flange part i hope it's not an early piece of uh uh, I don't know. I don't want to make accusations, but it could simply just be maybe an ice cube grabber. I'm not ice cube, a uh, sugar cube thing. But and I was thinking more or less this piece here was used for grabbing sh sugar cubes. But there's some there's some cool pieces in here, and like I said, it's mostly artwork and different projects I want to make out of them, which I will show you guys in the future but anyways thanks for coming along hope you enjoyed this uh video and uh we'll definitely keep you in touch with the upcoming ones hey dixie say hi <laughs> all right guys later